45 years I've been here. It has always been a community where mine altering chemicals was dispensed. Community Coalition was formed as a result of the crack cocaine epidemic. And so in 1991, we knocked on thousands of doors and asked residents, what should we do about this drug epidemic? And uh, honestly, many people thought that the overwhelming response would be the crack houses uh, and get rid of the crack houses. Um, surprisingly, the response was that corner liquor store. That corner liquor store is a stage where all the elements come together and clash. Uh, dealer meets addict meets prostitutes meets, you know, all the elements that are a recipe for disaster and then you throw alcohol in the mix and it just explodes into the community. Symphony Liquor Store is a convenient liquor store for people that hang on this park here. All they have to do is get bottles and cans, take it to the recycling place, which is two doors north of Century Liquor Store, uh, cash them in, and go to Century Liquor Store and get whatever they want to drink and come back to the park. And that's a vicious cycle. And it's one of the things we're trying to clean up. By trying to get this liquor store to start to sell liquor the right way, um, we put a number of conditions on them. One of the things they had to do was uh, have a security guard in the evening, especially in the late evening when, when, when all of the activity starts to occur. And that's one of the things they just haven't done. They haven't complied uh, with the conditional use permit. They still violate it. They don't have a security guard. And we still see this activity still at a really, a really high level and we don't want it here anymore. In front of our store, there's a library. It just opened like last year. And our kids, yeah, coming to the library, but it, around this community, there's a lot of uh, drug dealers and prostitution going on. So, for the safety of the kids, they may be targeting us. They need a, uh, somebody to blame, yeah, and the, we're the one. You know, liquor has its eels, and I don't think uh, we're in prohibition yet. So, as long as it's legal, People have a right to have a business. The issue is how do they conduct that business? And that's what we're trying to do is balance that. And I don't think we have the ability as a city to just uh, basically generally state that all liquor stores, if they were gone, crime would be better and people would be better off. Actually, it's liquor store is our major product. We can give out that license at all. Uh, we're trying to fulfill the demands of the coalition co uh, people they want to remove that liquor sign out. Uh, they want us to uh, hire the security guard, and we're hiring security guard right now. And we're gonna have conversation with the uh, community people more, and we're gonna fulfill their demands, what they want, yeah. You have a new $20 million library that we've just poured our city, our tax and city dollars into, uh, and all of that revitalization um, is being threatened by uh, all of these nuisance sites. We've always said we're not about closing down businesses. We want businesses. We want responsible businesses that actually serve people's needs. And we won't be able to bring those businesses in because who wants to set up shop next to what's on that corner? And our solution is not to arrest the individual users, dealers, or prostitutes. That's not what we're, our focus is. How can we hold the city accountable for making people operate their businesses in our community the way that they would on, let's say, the west side, or Woodland Hills, or Canoga Park, or Hancock Park? We built the multi-million dollar library 50 years after the liquor store was sited. And so we knew what was in the neighborhood when the, when the uh, library was put in place. We can't change 50 to 100 years of deteriorating kinds of communities overnight, but I think we've done a good job in that corridor to do all the things we've done in a very short time.